A house fire sends two people to Nashville burn unit. Two Campbell Countyans are in the burn unit at Vanderbilt Medical Center in Nashville at this hour. Their injuries are the result of a Wednesday night house fire. This is the second home fire in two days on the same plot of land at Duff. It was in the 300 block of Duff Road about a half mile off of Highway 25W north of La Follette where the fires burned down a mobile home and a house this week. On Tuesday morning at 3.20 a.m., that's when 12 firefighters with the Campbell County Rural Fire Service responded to a call that a mobile home was on fire at Duff. The mobile home was destroyed, no one was injured, and firefighters tell WLAF that it appears no one was living in it. The fire also destroyed a nearby car. Then just after 7.30 p.m. last night, Campbell County Sheriff's deputies spotted something on fire, drove to it, and found it was a house on fire right in front of the burned out mobile home. At about the same time, La Follette police were working an accident in front of the Belltone Hearing Center on West Central Avenue. Reports were called in about a drunk driver in La Follette. The car hit four other cars, including a police car. In that car, police found an 80-year-old woman who was shaken up but not injured, along with 54-year-old Sheila Haven of La Follette and Danny Atterson, uh, address unknown. Police noticed gas cans in the car, and as Haven and Atterson got out of the car, police saw that their legs and feet were severely burned. Haven and Atterson was taken to the La Follette Medical Center and then on to the University of Tennessee Medical Center for treatment. It's believed that he was then airlifted to Nashville while Haven was taken by ground ambulance. Vanderbilt Medical Center is not releasing their conditions but confirms that the pair is in the burn unit. Chief Deputy Aaron Evans with Campbell County Sheriff's Department explains to WLAF News that charges are pending against both of them and that it's believed the duo set the house on fire as a past action matter. Like the mobile home, it appears that no one was living in the house either. However, utilities were connected to both structures. Members of the bomb arson unit and an acceleration dog are investigating. The group worked all night and is still gathering evidence from the scene today. Fishing, fly tying, boat rides, hot dogs and prizes, fun for your children, your grandchildren, your neighbor's children, anybody's children, and it's all free. It's Kids Fish Free Day this Saturday, June 8th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the River Road Boat Launch in Norris, sponsored by the Clinch River Chapter of Trout Unlimited. The event coincides with the statewide Tennessee Free Fishing Day, so no fishing licenses are required. Cooperating with the free public event are the Tennessee Valley Authority and the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. Activities will include lessons in bait fishing, spin fishing, and fly fishing, plus fly tying and boat rides. Some equipment will be available for loan to children who don't have any. Kids fish free all day and 
will be at TVA's Miller Island Boat Access on River Road just off Highway 441 in Norris. To get there from I-75, take the Clinton Norris exit 122 and turn east, past the Museum of Appalachia and then left on Highway 441 toward Norris Dam. Just past Island Home Baptist Church, turn left on River Road, drive about a quarter mile and take the first right into the parking lot. If you want to fish in Tennessee but don't have a license, the game warden won't mind for one day only. The TWRA says Saturday is the annual free fishing day and anyone may fish waters in the state without a fishing license. The free day applies to all public waters in Tennessee. All TWRA owned lake and all state park system lakes. And Jacksboro Council meets tonight the regular monthly meeting for the town of Jacksboro. Mayor and Alderman is set for 7 o'clock at City Hall. WLAF's Dwayne Wilder has the complete story for you first thing tomorrow morning right here. And that's a look at the news. We'll be back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. Nine people have been booked in to the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Sean Keith Bolton, 24, of North Massachusetts Avenue, La Follette, on a KPS bench warrant. 46-year-old William Thomas Brooks of Carwin Road, La Follette, an attachment for child support, possession of a Schedule II and Schedule III controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. 55-year-old William Dillard Campbell of Robin Road, La Follette, for public intoxication. Krista Marie Day, 21, of Island Road in Jacksboro, for theft of property under $500. 45-year-old Ryan O'Neill Laborp of Comer Lane, La Follette, for public intoxication and simple possession. Henry Ray Lou Allen, 71, of Jellico for possession of a Schedule II sale and delivery and violation of a drug-free school zone. Angel Mary Ramsey, age 30, of Robin Road La Follette for driving while revoked and second offense DUI. 35-year-old Jason Ernest Ward of Pack Street in Jacksboro for criminal trespassing and last today, Jackson Tyler White, 22, of East Central Avenue, La Follette, for domestic assault. And that is a look at the news for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a great evening, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow with the end of the week edition of the news. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Hey, Big Josh, back with you for our birthday and anniversary club for this Thursday evening. Our uh, birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. They're located in the Food Lion Center. Today's birthdays, Amy Bolin is celebrating. Happy birthday to you, Amy. And Tracy Massingill celebrates today. Happy birthday, Tracy. And Amanda Walden's having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Amanda. Now, we want you guys to have a great day. And if you're celebrating your birthday today or your anniversary, we want you to have a great day, too. And speaking of anniversaries, Dennis and Lynn Anders is celebrating today. Happy anniversary to you all. But remember, get your name in here because that's that's the only way that you can qualify for the drawing that we have uh, every Friday. Tomorrow we'll have one and uh, you could be eligible if we have your name in here to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. See you tomorrow.